Hi everyone, I'm Lance Eaton. I'm the instructor of the course Comics in American Culture, a course that's going to be featured at North Shore Community College this fall. So this video is to introduce the course and give you a sense of what it's about and a good understanding of, of what the course entails and why you might want to take it. So the central question that always comes up in this course is what, it's, what is it all about? And my answer to that is this course is an interdisciplinary course that takes on several different ways of looking at comics. So the first question that we look at is the history of comics and understanding where comics came from, where they've been, where they are now, and potentially where they're going. And also looking at how history has affected comics and how comics have affected history. We move into how comics communicate and in this section of the course we consider just what can be said or how does meaning making occur within comics. From there we move into the question of what is literary art in comics and this question is really about once we understand how comics work what do we think of as valuable or iconic or canonical works within comics. And then throughout the course, we're looking at this question of why people study comics. Not why people are entertained by comics, but why people choose to academically study this topic. So what do we read in a course like this? We're of course going to read comics. That goes without saying. Uh, we start off reading Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud, and then we read other works such as Alan Moore's Watchmen, uh, which I should say is the closest we're going to get to really covering superhero comics. We, don't we, we won't be talking a lot about superhero comics. This is a course that's about comics as a form, not necessarily the content. So superhero con comics would be the content, some of the content of comics. In Watchmen is probably the closest we'll get to that. We do also read Art Spiegelman's Mouse and Asterios Polyp by David Masicelli. There's one other graphic novel that we'll probably read in the course, but I'd like to leave that up to the students to decide so that they have some say about some of the things we look at. We also read Randy Duncan and Matt Matthew Smith's The Power of Comics, uh, which is a great text book that I think students initially are not happy with, but often find it to be very useful in making sense of everything that we do in this course. And finally, there'll be an array of essays and articles that we cover in this course that will hopefully flesh out other areas that we um, either the, the Duncan and Smith book doesn't get to or, or other things that I think are relevant. And I promise the stack of papers won't be that high. All right, so what about work in this class? All right, what kind of things do you have to do within this course? Obviously, you're going to be reading comics. You're going to be reading a text. Um, you're also going to be doing various assignments and assessments. And this listing here is not you're doing all of these things, but these are some of the assignments that you're going to encounter in my course. In particular, I structure the course so that students will have a say about the assignments that they do. So it isn't that you'll be doing all of these assignments. In fact, all the asterisk ones are ones you're going to have some degree of say about. I like to give students kind of a menu option and they can select a range of different assignments that will represent their completed work in the course. So that's something to think about is you'll have some say. You'll still have to do you know certain, certain assignments, but others you're going to have a bit more flexibility with. So the question is, what's in it for you? right? Why take this course? What are you going to get out of it? And I tend to like to think this course, it really does give you its own sense of, of superpowers. Uh, it gives you own sense of skills that allow you to be a stronger, better student elsewhere in your academic career. So the first thing that I think this course does is give you a developed and nuanced understanding of comics. And I kind of think of this as your, your telepathy or your Jedi mind skills. That is, you end up being quite good at convincing others or making the argument that yes, comics are a valid field of study. Uh, analytical skills to navigate different interpretations of comics. And so I think of this as your super speed. This is your ability to take a comic and talk about it and move through it in a variety of ways. It's no longer just about the story or just about the art, but really pulling all those different facets together in a very efficient way. Uh, appreciation of comics as a medium for communication and a form of literary art. So this is kind of your x-ray vision. You're not just looking at comics as communication, you're not just looking at it as a form of literary art, but you're really seeing the different ways in which comics are valuable to our culture. 
the history of comics and its place within the larger popular culture, uh, this is totally time traveling, right? This is you say being able to look at the past 150 years and identify what's going on within the history of comics and how that relates to the culture at large and the larger cultural history. A context contextual sense of comic scholarship. I kind of feel like this is your this is your teleportation, right? So you're able to not just you're able to place different arguments about what popular culture and comics mean uh, within the comic scholarship and kind of move very quickly amongst the different ideas that populate comic scholarship. You also will hopefully develop a critical evaluation of other media. And in this one, this I equate to that idea of phasing. That is, you're not only just focusing on comics, but the skills and ideas that you take from comics you can use to move into other forms, right? You can, you can move, through, move through solids into other areas and really take what, what you do here and bring it elsewhere. And finally, improved communication and comprehensive skills, comprehension skills. I kind of think of this as this, you, you become super strong in your ability to discuss, in your ability to write, in your ability to make sense of, to take in information and, and compute it in a better way for better understanding. So those are the things that I think equip uh, students walk away from this course with. And I just want to say, you know, I just want to emphasize that this is a academically rigorous course. And so I hope that you understand what that means, having watched this video and, and some of the, understand some of the things that will be expected of you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you are further interested in the course, please email me at Leeton, L-E-A-T-O-N, at northshore.edu. And if you're really ambitious or bored, you're always welcome to visit my blog, which is by anyothernerd.blogspot.com. And once again, thank you for your time.